Hello everyone, my name is Heather and this is my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be telling you about one of my very favorite databases. It's called Opposing Viewpoints. If you've ever been looking for a research tool that has a lot of stuff in one location, this is the place for you. Say that you need to argue a point or say that you need to find material that's both pro and con or shows both sides of an argument or a situation. That's what Opposing Viewpoints, hence the name, is all about. Now I'm using this through Discus, which is a subscription that I have through the State Library of South Carolina. You can also find Discus or Opposing Viewpoints, which is a subscription database through your public library, your school library, your college library, academic library, lots of places to be able to find this. Highly recommend talking to your college librarian, your school librarian, your public librarian, teachers, chat with them. They will help you find the material that you need and ask them if Opposing Viewpoints is one of the databases that you have at your school, university, state library, public library. They will hook you up. Now, if you're looking at opposing viewpoints, I will go ahead and let you know this shows both the pro and con, positive, negative, both sides of all different types of arguments, which means there is a lot of different content in here, some of which you might agree with, some of which you might not. That's okay. That's what opposing viewpoints is all about. So let me show you how it works. If you're looking at the main page, you're going to see a lot of different options for you to be able to look at business and economics, energy and environmentalism, law and politics, health and medicine. And beside all of these, you're going to see the word view all. So health and medicine is pretty common, a popular topic right now. So if we click on view all, it's actually going to give us all of these different topics to look at in this field anywhere from obesity and nutrition to antibiotics and animal experimentation. And every single one of these topics, they have both opposing viewpoints, both sides of every argument. So let's say, for instance, I just wanted to look at nutrition. And what happens is, is when you go in to this particular page, it's going to show you multiple things. It's going to tell you about nutrition, give you an introduction, as well as view more. And then on the right side of the screen, it's going to tell you all of the different things that are available because you get popular materials, magazines, newspapers, you get statistics and data, you get references, which are going to be things such as encyclopedias, dictionaries, anything that's going to give you reference, quick information, magazines, audio clips, newspapers, academic or data driven research articles. You're going to get videos, primary sources. Primary sources can be diaries, direct written letters, all different types of stuff, websites, and more. So what you've got here on Opposing Viewpoints is all different types of stuff in one location, all at your fingertips. So, and you also get viewpoints, which are kind of like editorials. So if I clicked on the academic journals, it's going to give me, or take me down to the bottom of the page, show me all the academic journals. I can click on those and it's going to give me all of the articles that I want to look at in this particular topic. So if I want to be able to read about them, I'm going to be able to see where they're from, which journal, it'll tell me which journal the articles are from. I can see this one's from the Melbourne Journal of Politics. Science seems to be pretty popular here in this particular database. Passion of Food, here's from World Policy Journal, so on and so forth. And if I click on an article, not only can you read the article, you can actually listen to the article and you get the citation for the article. Here on the right side, you can get citation tools, you can email, download, so on and so forth. Now those are the listed topics, but let's say that I'd also like to look at teens and politics, what I always search in my databases so that I can have a common search terms. And if I do teens and politics, now I would probably get stuff on teens or politics, politics. I could do all different types of stuff, but again, it will take up here with the search bar, very Google style tool. I can search. I've got all different types of things about teens, politics, all different types of things everywhere from the politics of teen pregnancy to poor and low income women to should teens earn less than adults, a what from young voters and how they affect the 2016 race, which is much more what we're looking for. But again, over here on the side where it tells us we've got everything, you get everything from viewpoints. Remember those are editorials, people's viewpoints or their opinions, all the way down to again, data-driven journals, newspapers, magazines, and much, much more. So check out Opposing Viewpoints, 
great database. As I said, one of my favorites because it gives you so much stuff in one spot. Hope you like what you see. Please subscribe to my channel if you do. Please share with your friends and teachers and librarians. Thank you so much. Have a great day.